Hey, what's up everyone? So I've been kind of experimenting with text lately and learning a little bit more about what I can do with gradients, especially in Photoshop. This little setup right here is something I created for Pacers Gaming. And I'll show you in the top part here, I actually add a bit of a subtle gradient to it. And there's a couple different ways that you can do that in Photoshop, whether it's with layer styles, it's with clipping masks, or a little bit of a combination of both. So I'm gonna hop into that, show you two or three ways that I've been playing with gradients and text in Photoshop, and uh, hopefully you learn a thing or two. Okay, so in this image here, you'll notice that game one has a, you might call it like a bit of a glow here. So the gradient, maybe like a radial gradient from the center out. If I turn it off, you can definitely see the difference between just a solid color of text and then having that bit of a gradient effect. So if I turn everything off, I'm gonna show you exactly how I created this. And there's two ways, like I mentioned, that you can do this and I'll just show you both. First things first, you gotta hit that T shortcut key for the type tool and we're gonna type something out here. How about just gradient text, just like that. I can use my move tool Command or Control T, hold Shift, hold Option, I can scale this up really quickly. Um, and then you can use whatever text options you want to create the look that you want. So we've got two pieces here. I just held Option or Alt to duplicate that out. And I'm gonna scale these up so that you can see them. So we've got gradient text here, and then we've got gradient text copy. Now you don't need to create two, two of these pieces, you just need to sort of watch and see which way you wanna create the gradient. For this first piece up here, this piece of gradient text, what I'm gonna use is a layer style. So in this blank space of the layer in my layers panel, if I double click on it, it's gonna pull open my layer styles for this piece of text. There's tons of things that we can add, but there's one called gradient overlay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just click on that. Now it didn't look like it did much, but that's because we have something sort of preset and I'll walk through uh, the different options that you can go through with this. First off, this is sort of your gradient color right here. If you click on that, you'll get a, the gradient editor. Oh, wow, I can't speak. The gradient editor, editor will pop up. And then from there, you have actually a lot of different presets that you can use. So you could click through these and create lots of different uh, gradient text looks. Um, for mine, I actually chose the colors that I wanted. So what I did was I clicked in here and you'll see on the bottom, we have some different colors and these are the swatches down below. If you just click while the hand shows, you can add different swatches to this and you can adjust where they blend, where one stops and where the other uh, begins. So if you click and drag down, you can remove a swatch. For this, if I click on this one and click the color, I went ahead and just eyedroppered the color of my text. And actually I'll grab this one down here and I hit okay and for this one here, I did the same thing, grabbed that my text color, and I wanted to make it a little bit lighter. So I just drug this, dragged this over into some of the lighter area and hit okay, hit okay, and there we go. We have a light to dark gradient. Now right now, there's no blend mode, so it's not gonna blend into your text or, or create any different sort of multiply effects or anything like that. You can turn dither on if you're noticing banding inside of your gradient, dither is probably gonna help get rid of that a little bit. You can adjust the opacity, so this is gonna be at the opacity or transparency back to whatever your text color is. I'm gonna keep it at 100 because we're using this as our text color. If you reverse it, notice right now, and I'll mention we have a style of linear, which just means it goes from one side to the other. The angle is 90 degrees, so it's just bottom to top. The lighter colors on the bottom, the darker colors on the top, if I click reverse, it's just gonna flip that. Lighter color on top, darker color on bottom. We can also scale this, which kind of determines how smooth or how sharp your gradient is, if that makes sense. And the last thing here is on the style, we have different options. So we could select radial, and that's gonna do it sort of from the center out of my text. And if I reverse that, we sort of have that glow here out to the darkness like I showed you before. And if I adjust my scale, that's gonna adjust. You can see that glow sort of coming in and out right there. And if we go back into here, we can adjust where this lightness begins and ends and how much there is in our text. Maybe we want more of that swatch 
And we can even bring this over here. It's gonna adjust like where these things clip. So that gives it a little bit of that sort of same effect that I had in the text previously. Now you can utilize this, the gradient overlay, to create lots of different gradients in your text. The one issue that I run into here is I can't move this around. So I couldn't move this over to be offset. It just starts in the center and works, it way, works its way out. So what I do to kind of have a little more customization with that is on this second gradient text down here. Notice that it's this layer right here. I'm gonna create a new layer by clicking that new layer button. And on this layer, I'm actually going to paint the type of gradient I want. This will be a little bit more difficult to get like really cool rainbow gradients and things like that because you're manually doing it, but it also gives you a little bit more control. So in this case, I'm gonna hit B for my brush tool. I'm gonna to grab that same color that I've had this whole time. I'm gonna open up my brush, make it a little bit bigger. You can adjust all this up here in this setting. And I'm gonna make the hard hardness zero. Size is about a thousand. Yeah, something like that would work. Uh, might be a little big, but I'll show you what happens here. Now, I've got that same color selected, right? I'm gonna turn this layer blending mode to linear dodge add. And now when I click over here, it's gonna create a super bright, almost like it's um, like a glow color. And that was just the same color on top of itself, right? I took the text color, made it my brush color, and then just clicked once over the top of that text and added this linear dodge add blending mode to that layer. Now to keep it locked in on only the text and not affecting anything outside of the text, I'm gonna hold Option or Alt and click between these two layers to create a clipping mask. Now anything that I paint on this layer is only gonna show up over the top of the text, which is in this case what I want, but I'll show you a way that we can adjust that later. So this is super bright, and what I can do is pull that brightness back with the opacity. I'm gonna hold Shift and press the down arrow and just let this sort of drop down, just like that. And now we've got a lot more of that kind of nice glow gradient effect. The cool thing about this is I can then take this layer here, and if I hit enter on that opacity, so I like about 60% opacity, just depends. I can use the move tool, shortcut key for that is V, and I can actually move this around. So notice how I brought this over to the left side and it moves into the darker color on the right, or same thing, I can bring it over to the right side. And I can paint more on top of this. So if I go back to my brush with B, I can actually paint maybe a little over here. So notice how the G then took a little bit of that gradient as well. So I can make different gradient spots, different radial uh, center points with this by painting on this layer, adding a little bit of linear dodge or any blending mode that you want and creating my own custom gradient. Now here's some pros and cons with this. If I go click my move tool, shortcut key is V, and I move this text around, notice how the gradient doesn't move with it. See how the gradient sort of exists right here. I move my text and it doesn't move with it. That's one of the issues to combat that. I can grab both of these layers by holding shift and clicking. And then I can press Command or Control G or click this folder icon down here. And now I've created gradient text as a folder. And if I turn that on and off, it turns the whole thing on and off. And if I move that folder around, it's gonna move all the contents of that folder around. So that's how we can get around that. Whereas this gradient text over here, it's gonna move around um, sort of with its layer style attached to it. Now one thing, we can go back into this layer style just by double clicking, and if you don't see your layer styles here, your layer effects, click this drop down arrow. We can double click on gradient overlay, it's gonna take us into it. And we can actually maybe change this to that linear dodge add, and that's, that's really blowing it out a little bit, but that's where this size and scale and everything comes in, and we can look at exactly how we wanna edit that text. This one might not be the best, you might use something like screen or maybe even a multiply, color burn, just there are different ways of affecting this gradient. But notice how it kind of changes the look a lot, right? Layer style is one way, 
especially if you're doing a linear gradient, I find it works the best for that. And then you can just adjust your angle. I really have loved lately using this sort of painting over the top, adding a clipping mask effect. Now, I'm on a white background here. So if we go over to a darker background where I simply have gradient text written in here, and this is probably similar to what the thumbnail looks like. If we add that same layer over the top here, hit B for brush. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have this color selected. I'm gonna just brush a little bit over the top of this. Notice how right now it's not clipped to the text. So it's showing up over the top of my entire document, including the background. If I click on this linear dodge add, it actually creates kind of a cool glow effect. And I can drop this opacity down to whatever, you know, wherever I really want it to be, 70% right there. That's actually kind of neat. That's another way that you can let that layer affect everything that's below it if you want to, if you want to sort of show a glow outside of the gradient itself, kind of a neat little thing. If you only want it on your text, remember hold Option or Alt and just create a clipping mask between those two layers. Now it's only showing where the text is. This felt like a lot more explanation for a simple concept like gradient text than I thought it was gonna be. But if, uh, if this helped you, if some of these techniques helped you, I hope I didn't forget anything, let me know in the comments down below. Um, here's a couple different ways to add a gradient to your text. I really like this new way of like painting over the top of text on a layer using a clipping mask so that it doesn't affect every single layer unless you really want it to like be super glowy. Um, because I feel like there's so much more customization to it. And then all you have to do is put a folder around those layer contents and you can move it around easily. All right guys, that's it for this tutorial. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you next time.